Okay, let's do a quick ref re vision on refraction of light. Okay, so for refraction of light, remember what is refraction, your definition, your reason. So this is so important. You are going to, they can ask you just to simply define, very straightforward, or when you they ask you to explain what happens to a light ray, you are definitely going to use these keywords here. So refraction is a bending of light through mediums of different optical densities. And why does it occur? Because the speed of light changes as it goes through mediums of different optical density. So basically you are talking about, you must mention the bending of light, okay, whether it's bending towards the normal or away from the normal. Then you talk about the optical density, okay, where, how is it traveling from less dense to the more dense, okay. Remember the word optical, huh? and then you must mention the speed. Does the speed increase or decrease? So you, when you're asked to explain what happens or light where you're always talking about these three things. You must mention these three things. Okay, then for the drawing, okay, I think most of you are familiar how the light ray will bend. Okay, uh, from air to glass, it will bend towards the normal because in glass, it's an optically denser medium and the speed of light will slow down, okay, will decrease, therefore it bends towards the normal, right? So always talking about the three things. And then subsequently when it goes out, okay, you explain, okay, it will bend away from the normal. Why? Because it's traveling from optically denser to less dense medium and the speed of light is now increasing. Okay? Okay, if it's the uh, the light ray is straight on towards a glass block, it just goes straight through and all you have to say, okay, they ask you why the light ray does not bend, you just have to say the angle of incidence is zero degrees. Remember it's zero degrees, angle of incidence not 90, yeah? it's 90 to the surface, it's zero degrees. Why? Because your normal is along the same line as a light ray. So that makes it a zero degrees. Okay. Then you have after that, uh, the laws of refraction. Again, take note about the laws which lead up to the most important formula for this chapter, which you are surely going to be asked, n equals sine i over sine r. And those who I thought you will know that I always tell you, remember when you apply this formula, how to get it 100% of the time, is to remember that the angle you write on top is always two things, angle of incidence in air. Right? Always the one in air on top, the one in medium always below. And this is always measure from normal okay be careful uh, do not be tricked if the angle given is not measured from normal so two things air on top and normal measure from normal then the medium is below right so go on further refractive index definition all right okay again you gotta memorize there are lots of things to memorize this one talks about the ratio of speed of light in air or vacuum to that of it in the medium right so that will lead on to the formula. Okay, the second formula, N equals, some of you remember, is C over V, yes. Speed of light in air or vacuum over speed of light in medium. You can remember that. Okay, okay, so just take note. Okay, refractive index, there are no units. Okay, so different mediums, we have different refractive index. So, and if the refractive index is very high, okay, it means the light slows down. And the angle of refraction will be smaller. Okay, so take note about this. Okay, so let's go on from here and then when you, you practice questions, okay, uh, when you practice questions, as I've said many times, okay, you go and look at what you've done, it's good to practice, always be careful, watch out, they give you this angle, okay, good habit, draw the normal, it's not given, draw the normal, get the right angle that they want, okay, this is 40 degrees, 50 degrees, so which is your angle of incidence made in air? It is 40 degrees, you put it on top, then the refraction is below, okay, and from there you can work out N, okay. If you ask to explain, as I said, use the key, three key phrases, okay, and then whenever it's going from water, okay, or let's say a de optically denser to less dense medium, you got to be careful. Again, draw your normal, watch out, it is not 120 degrees angle incidence, draw the normal, you will find that the angle of incidence is 30 degrees. So always be careful over here. Right? So no doubt here is the angle of incidence 30 degrees. Angle R you don't know. When you use this formula, remember that I told you the one in air is on top. So angle R is on top. 
it's over here on top. Put it on top. Don't put it below. Angle R on top, measure from the normal, and then 30 degrees, measure from normal is below. Okay? Then you do your calculation carefully, you should get the answer. Okay. So, you do sometimes get a semicircular glass block like this. And this was something that you should always remind yourself that if this light ray is headed towards the center, it will just go straight through. Why? Because this light ray is actually along the normal over here. It's along this normal over here, so the angle of incidence is zero degrees, it will go straight through. But when it hits here, okay, the light ray will bend. Where? Away from normal. Why? So again, uh, we talk about three things. The light ray bends away from normal or reflects away from normal because it's traveling an optically denser to optically less dense medium causing the speed to decrease. Hence the light ray bends away from normal. Okay, always the three things we talk about. Okay, so take note about this if you are given this. Okay. So for reflection, that's about it. The rest of it is a lot of it is just practice and make sure you become proficient at it.